before starting this demo, let's first examine the files present in this directory using the ls command in the terminal window. The lpf underscore app.acs file is a netlist file in spectre format and that's why it has an extension .acs. The models and functions are directories containing model files and other user defined function files related to the netlist. Now let's examine the contents of the netlist file lpf underscore amp.acs. So open the netlist file using a text editor. Here I am using an nedit editor and here we go. Notice that the initial lines of the netlist with double slash are comment lines. Then you have the language directive defined as specter, and following it, you have the global definition. Then you have the parameters and include statements, including the model file for this netlist. To examine the model files, you can choose this path and press Ctrl Y. So, for this run, we are going to use this session containing all the models. Now, move to the netlist file. Then here you have all the subsequent definitions of different cells used in this design with its instance statements. And at the end of the netlist, you have the top level test bench details and analysis statement with some of the simulator options. Here you have two analysis, namely DC and transient analysis defined. And these are some of the additional options for this run. Now let's run a spectre simulation on this netlist from the command line. So move to the command line terminal and type spectre netlist name. Now press enter to start your simulation. As the simulation runs, the spectre simulator sends messages to your screen that shows the progress of simulation. Once the simulation is completed, it prints the details about the errors, warnings and notices. Here, this simulation is completed with zero errors, zero warnings and one notice. Scroll up to identify the notice. And here we have a notice that the terminals are connected together for the AVDD node. You can ignore this for now. Then. Let's examine the files generated from the simulation using the ls-lrt command that lists the files and directories generated lately. The default simulation log file has an extension .log and the simulation raw directory has a .raw extension and it is by default in PSF bin the binary format. Then there is another directory in .hdl simdb format and it contains all the shared objects during compilation of models. Now let's open the log file using a text editor. So move to the text editor and open the log file lpf underscore am.log. Scroll down this log file and notice the reading of model files the compilation of AHDL CMI model libraries. Then you have the circuit inventory and the analysis like DC and transient analysis performed. Then after the analysis, you have all the operating point information. And you also have the instance parameter information printed here because of info analysis statement defined in the netlist. Then move to the end of the log file and observe the simulation statistics. And moreover, you have the output parameters being printed to the raw file in the PSF bin binary format. And this file can be analyzed using the what you saw visualization and analysis, the Weaver tool. So later you can plot the results of this directory using the Weaver tool. Thanks for your time.